now that I've painted the model it's now I realize that these decals I bought aren't going to cut it as in the color you can see I wouldn't have needed either this color or this color and that's nowhere near the uh, actual color required which is the light tan same as the intake markings a wrong color I'm gonna have to try and uh, come up with something there I, so what I'm doing for the the stars and bars I've used uh, I have or my wife has a uh, silhouette cameo 4 and I've, I'm cutting my own masks it's uh, for me it's not easy anyway it's it's extremely time consuming and you need to find so I've had to search <coughs> excuse me I have COVID uh, I had to find images of the stars and bars that I could use to create the mask and then uh, put on the uh, computer and then resize it and that well you can do that on the the program for the silhouette but your, your design you have to get before you put it onto the silhouette um, so that's the speed brakes so I've done one it's uh, yeah a bit <clears throat> bit of a uh, process and because I'm sick also it's like my brain seems foggy and I'm <laughs> struggling with working things out but um, once it's done it'll look alright but uh, yeah it's just getting there so I'll have the mask around here now around the paint and then I'll spray in that tan and then you give it a gloss coat to protect it uh, the names and that I'll be using and the uh, other uh, insignia uh, stencil data that's the word I'm looking for I'll use them but yeah, I'm going to have to try and work out something with that one. But I have found some uh, fonts to do the style of writing. Uh, but it's going to be a factor of whether I can make it small enough that I can cut it onto uh, this to use it. So hopefully I can. Is it, you are limited to how small you can go. Uh, well, I am anyway, from what I've uh, found using it. So this is, uh, I think it's called Oracle. It's, uh, oh, sorry, Aura, it's Aura Mask 810. This is the stuff you'll get if you buy a Montex mask set. It's, uh, it's vinyl. And uh, this same as what they do. I'm sure they use programs similar to, to make a mask but you can buy it uh, I, I got big well not big it's about a meter long length off of eBay and I've just cut a strip off just to do this but uh, and I'll have to do the navy wording as well because it's the wrong color okay after many hours of work that doesn't show I've done my stencils <clears throat> and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out especially the writing for the intake uh, you're looking at the writing three millimeters uh, high and I never thought that I'd be able to cut it but it did but with that <clears throat> I felt limited to how small the writing I didn't want to go any smaller so I've had to modify that uh, intake stencil the danger should have uh, the backing like the jet intake section does uh, and an arrow but it's if I was doing that then the this the 
that part, the triangle bit, I would have had to have it going back way further and it, I think that would have been a bit too much. I mean, yes, it's not 100% uh, correct, but I'm happy with, I was able to achieve uh, stencil data that's legible. So I'm going to call that a win. So that was the actual uh, decal, but you know, like I said, it's the wrong colour. So that's it for stencil I had to make. Now, next I'm going to attempt these uh, decals that I purchased. Um, let's just say I'm hoping they work. I'm not. 100% confident, but at the end of the day, this is all I could get to do Top Gun. Uh, I think is that two bobs used to make a set, but they're not available. And I'm not sure if they did them in 132nd, I know they did them in 148, but you know, you just got to work with what you can get. Well, I ended up, I didn't use much in the way of the decals, only what I had to, which was the Top Gun. Uh, symbol patch and the uh, pilot I, I put jester on there I was going to do the uh, pyro lieutenant Hendricks which seems what everyone does but uh, I managed to destroy the other side of that decal uh, the opposite side so I had to go with jester so now if it's wrong well it's wrong it's uh honestly i should have known better with buying homemade decals they just well like i mentioned the color was wrong and uh they're extremely extremely thin so the top gun i had to put white so I cut out a mask and put white behind it otherwise you wouldn't see the uh, aircraft and that on the patch it's uh, yeah, very very thin and for this reason I ended up making my own stencils for the number the rescue arrows yes they are not correct size but again I was limited to what I could cut on a mask and the day before everything was gold everything I did first time worked yesterday it was like uh, you can see there I've done it three times before I got them that I could use them uh, yeah, you can travel sometimes well I do that the blade cuts and it and as it cuts it peels the uh, stencil away so I got there eventually it's, uh, I'm disappointed, but again, I should have, it's not the first time I've used uh, home printed decals and I do know what they can be like, but I have not used them for a lot of years and I was hoping that technology has improved and the people doing them are doing a better job, but that does not appear the case. Uh, anyway, I'm done with that now. It's, uh. A bit unfortunate I was hoping to get a better result with my model but I've come this far and I, I'm not putting it aside and leaving it I'm not gonna do that so continue on with what I have and be happy with that uh, so the now I gotta finish doing all the other parts painting what's left to be painted the gear doors have the the red around the edges uh, on most naval aircraft my quick fix for that is a red sharpie and just paint it in uh, rather than masking and spraying red the sharpie just works as well so I've done the doors so I need to what else do I, need to do? Oh, I still need to well, I painted that I would peel off the uh, tape the arrestor hook the stripes, oh that's a bit sticky. Huh. 
Any attack doesn't normally do that. Could be from the heat I've had to. Uh, uh, I have to have a look at that. Might have to end up painting it again. Then uh, just other little things like the painting in the the chrome, the silver on the actuators, things like that, and then it's all going to need a wash and then come together. Uh, yeah, so I've painted, I think I've painted everything now and I've still got to do, I've attached that lead wire to the main gears, we've got to do the nose gear as well, but I'll do that as I uh, start installing it all. Oh, and I need to paint up the uh, other pylon, which is white.